Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing yet another pie recipe and this time is a brown bag apple pie which is also known as a Dutch apple pie so let's get started. I've already made my pie crust. To watch the video on how to make the perfect pie crust click below this video in the link in the description box and also at the end of this video we're just gonna cover it and refrigerate it until we make our filling. I am gonna use golden delicious apples for my pie. It's just because when they're baked they have this most amazing amber color. I am gonna use this handy dandy apple slicing, coring and peeling tool uh, didn't mean to sound like in 50s commercials but uh, guys this tool just does a perfect job it's gonna peel your apple it's gonna core it and also thinly slice it this is what exactly we need for this apple pie and we're gonna examine each apple make sure there's no core left and then this little pieces with the skin still attached we're gonna discard just cut it in half and look at this perfect slices all the time now to our apples we're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice this will also prevent them from browning we're gonna add one third of a cup of raw sugar one teaspoon of ground cinnamon one teaspoon of dry minced lemon peel we're also gonna grate some um, nutmeg just the real nutmeg i mean four teaspoons of tapioca flour we're gonna mix it all together and our pie filling is ready to make a crumb topping for your apple pie we're gonna need a half a cup of raw sugar one cup of flour one cup of almond flour couple shakes of cinnamon and we're also gonna need eight tablespoons which is one stick of melted butter we're gonna mix it all together until it reaches the crumbs consistency take your pie crust out of the fridge and look at this it's completely solid the colder your pie crust is the crispier it's gonna come out when it's baked we're gonna transfer our apple filling in the pie crust and we also gonna sprinkle it with that crumb topping and then make sure it gets into all little cracks so it's nice and even and pretty and I'm also gonna use this little apple tool to decorate my border for my pie and look how pretty this is we're just gonna decorate it with little apples all the way around I think it's gonna look beautiful uh, we're gonna put some egg wash on our pie and it's ready to go in the bag and I mean guys in a real grocery bag just get one from your local grocery store we're gonna put our pie inside of it we're gonna seal the end and I'm gonna use my handy dandy stapler to staple the ends of this bag. We're gonna transfer it on the baking sheet and it's ready to go into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit on the very bottom shelf for 90 minutes. Take it out and let's check on it. And seriously, guys, oh, like opening a Christmas present. You never know what you're gonna get inside, but look at this, guys. And it's perfect. Oh, one, except one, this little apple. We're gonna put it back, it's okay. And we're gonna completely remove the back from our apple pie because believe it or not it has to go back in the oven at 425 degrees fahrenheit for just five to eight minutes so our crumbly topping and our little decorations are all browned up nicely and uh, we are ready to cut the apple pie and of course i'm a little bit impatient i have to wait for this apple pie to cool down um, a little bit but i just wanted to try it you guys can't blame me and uh, yes it's perfect look at this uh, the crust is nice and brown and it's cooked all the way through the apple decorations are nice and crispy and look at this guys these apples are so beautiful and this is what it's supposed to look like when it's cooled down it's just absolutely perfect and delicious 
I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.